Have you noticed it? I've noticed it. I will tell you one thing that people are just not paying attention to close enough when it comes to Becky Lynch. Because, if anything, WWE needs to get back to what made her special. Becky Lynch is one of WWE's biggest stars, but I can make the argument that she's just not been the same since she's returned from pregnancy. And I can pinpoint the reason as to why. And it's not being talked about enough because Becky Lynch should be and is mostly considered to be one of the top WWE stars that the company has, especially in the female division. Whether that be with Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Asuka, Bayley, Rhea Ripley, and many more. But Becky Lynch is someone who had a rise to fame in late 2018, especially when she started feuding with Charlotte, and they turned her into a tweener. And then she got punched by Nia Jax, and that nixed her Survivor Series match with Ronda Rousey, kicking off a legendary run as The Man. They went on and headlined WrestleMania 35, where Becky Lynch won the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships over Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair in the first ever female WrestleMania main event. Then she went on and continued to find success as the man, despite having trademark legal issues or arguments with Ric Flair over said uh, term. I digress. And she went on and she defended the Raw Women's title and had a noticeable run. And that led into the first quarter of 2020. And then she got pregnant. Great for her. I'm very happy for her. Children are awesome. She took time off in 2020, thanks to that. And it worked out because of the pandemic and all. You know, that god awful time that we all went through. Then she returned in 2021 at Sum SummerSlam and cost Bianca Belair the championship. And then she was turned into a heel. And then she turned complete different gimmick and had this wild knockoff Seth Rollins persona that no one liked, no one bought into, and it was just like, ugh, can we get back to what made her special? Triple H thought the same thing, and so shortly after he took main roster, took over main roster creative, he went and he's like, okay, Becky Lynch, you're gonna be a baby face, you're gonna be the man, we're gonna get you right back to where you left off as this legendary character, this phenomenon, everything. And it's just not the same. Becky Lynch is not the same as what she once was. While yes, she's good on her promos, and yes, her in-ring work is still as good as ever, she doesn't have the level of popularity in which she had prior to her taking time off due to her pregnancy, and that's a shame. Now, I will praise her for this, and I will praise the company for this. Her feud with Trish Stratus, that has lasted the majority of 2023, dating back to, you know, pre-WrestleMania when they were a trios with Lita and her teaming up with Trish and them dropping the women's tag team titles because Trish turned heel on Lynch afterwards and then them feuding and then going into payback on September 2nd in a steel cage match. That program has been a lot of fun and they've been able to introduce a Zoe Stark into the fold from NXT and establish her as someone who you should take consideration into believing in and taking as a threat because she is aligned with the WB Hall of Famer and Trish who has really put her arm around Zoe Stark and really tried to make her a star. And I think Zoe Stark from an in-ring standpoint to a character standpoint and she's pretty decent on the mic, she has the potential and she has all the tools in the world to become a star. Yes, this program has done wonders for Becky Lynch and I'm hopeful that this is the launching pad to getting her back to being where she was in 2019, really. Because there's just something missing with her right now, and it's a shame because I think she's still in her prime. I think she's in the, the latter stages of her prime, and it would be awesome to see her be able to get back over to that level in which she was. But I think it's going to be extraordinarily difficult. I think they're going to need a launching pad. I think... As Charlotte Fleur has stated, it was a magical time in 2019 with with that program, with those three women and Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch that led to a magical and really a just historic WrestleMania 35 main event featuring all women. I'd like to see Becky Lynch get back to it. Let me know down in the comments area below what do you think, how do you think Becky Lynch can get back to it. Hit that subscribe button for more wrestling content.